Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I hope this whole COVID-19 scare is not affecting you as badly. Uh, and I hope more than anything, we can find um, some comfort in just staying at home and being with our loved ones. And when it comes to being with our loved ones, um, there's a whole, I guess, misconception, especially with African culture, around talking and around exchanging messages and around being honest. So. Uh, the, one of the reasons why the personalized messages um, was created is because I found in my personal experience and in some of the lives I've been privileged enough to just kind of witness, lots of people have so much they want to say, but they always wait for that moment where it's either too late or after so much pressure as uh, one of my aunts loves to put it, Kagatripa, you know, where there's way too much uh, going on and then you just snap and everything's just chaotic and you want to get into a fight or however you decide to speak on that matter now becomes a huge fight and a huge battle. Now the whole reason behind personalized messages is not because you need to create a message that uh, that has to always have like a significance. It's always either, for most of us anyway, it's always either happy birthday, uh, glad you're getting married. You know, we have these themes we always feel unnecessary. But there are times where you want to have a clean breakup or you want closure, but you don't know how to put it. Um, for most people, they've just seen the short personalized messages, but we also help, maybe you want to write a whole letter, you've got a lot of things on your chest and you'd like to be able to share those. Now, for most people, when you write these things, you're not going to share them, and that's fine. Like, the aspect of whether you get to share or not is not the whole point of the personalized messages but it's mostly so that you can have an out for all the things you've been storing inside your heart, all the things you've always wanted to say, wanted to talk about, but never had the chance to speak on. Now, for the most part, um, we help create the messages. So what usually gets to happen is you kind of come to us and you tell us, look, this is what's going on, okay? Um, I met this girl and I think I've got a whole thing for her, but I don't know how to say it. I don't even trust my own words. How can you help me? Hey, look, man, um, I've just gone through this terrible breakup. And one of the things that happened is I didn't get a chance to say my piece. And I kind of want people to put that down. I have a lot of things I've been thinking of saying, but it's all jumbled. It doesn't feel like it's right. How can I say this? All these things pressing on our hearts right now, even just with this whole COVID-19 thing going on, can really put a lot of pressure. Sometimes you want it to be two lines that you can send on WhatsApp. Other times you want it to look pretty, you want a nice background. And other times you want it to be long and lengthy because you've been thinking about this for a while or whatever the event or occasion you're trying to create really means a lot to you. Now, in most African culture, we have this whole thing of we don't talk about things, you just hold it in. And a lot of our friends know a lot of these issues that we're going through, but we just hold it in, right? It shouldn't leave our mouths. It shouldn't be spoken about in open. Uh, but to be honest, humans are meant to communicate, we're meant to exchange during our interactions. It shouldn't just be a hi, how are you? Uh, and then generic, I'm good, I'm good, and yet you're dying inside and you just have so much you want to tell someone, but you can't because you don't know how to say it, you don't know if you should say it, you don't even have the own confidence in your own words. And that's really one of the main reasons why a personalized message service was put up. I know for, for a lot of ladies, personalized messages isn't that hard. You, you ladies are very open about your emotions, but sometimes also you, you just feel like you need extra help and we're there. For the guys, not so much. No, we know, we know there. You don't even like to talk about how you feel. Um, we like to talk in code and a lot of us are now starting to talk in code. If she gets it, she gets it. If they get the message, they get the message. If not, then the message wasn't for them. But sometimes your code is too thugged out. Nobody's going to get the message except for you because you're making it difficult. So the whole point of personalized message service is to help people connect more. Now, Connecting has absolutely nothing to do with staying together, keeping in touch. No, don't get it wrong. It's just connecting.
How can you connect best in 2020? How can you connect best moving forward? How can you create these uh, relationships and these, and these communication channels for you that are also going to benefit your kids? Should you have kids also going to benefit the relationships you have even more profoundly so that you don't just have... Um, basic shallow relationships with nowhere to go and not really knowing what's going on in your life or your friend's life or whoever's life. Personalized messages is really just an avenue to bring people close together, to connect people. Uh, and sometimes connecting people is also about not having to communicate after this communication. But you want to be able to heal relationships. You want to be able to upbuild relationships. You want uh, to make relationships fun and sexy. And really, we just want relationships to be a great place where we can go even when we don't feel uh, the need to be around people. Feel free to DM about whatever kind of message you'd like to make, or just feel free to DM and ask questions about uh, messaging services and how you can also get creative and create your own messages. But aside from that, have a great day, be blessed, and do not forget wherever you go, guys, Share and spread love. Have a good one.